conceived, bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Genesis chapter 4 verse 1, who begat the first murderer Cain? Another famous story, Cain kills Abel, his brother. Now, what would possess a man to do something as horrible as this? Cain didn't have a hungry family to feed. There wasn't some kind of war going on. As we recall, from the untold Garden of Eden, the serpent and Eve may have gone a little farther than just eating a piece of fruit. They may have done a little more than just talk. Their offspring, according to many ancient written sources, their offspring was actually Eve's firstborn son Cain. The common term for fathering a child in the Bible is begat. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that Adam, Eve's husband, begat Cain. Plain is that, although Cain was a child of Eve, could he possibly have had the genetic makeup of someone else, an upset and complaining angelic being, now made human for his punishment? Could the serpent actually be his father, resulting from this seduction of Eve? With all of the anger and resentment inside of this angelic being already, could it be that the serpent would naturally pass these negative attributes on to whomever he sired? Could this have been a reason why Cain so easily could have committed murder? The serpent, Azazel, Nashash, etc., as postulated in Untold Garden of Eden, may have used sex to seduce Eve. Through their fornication, she may have become pregnant. According to some sources, as a result, there may have been more than one child produced, they may have sired both Cain and Abel. Why both? Again, nowhere in the Bible does it say that either Cain nor Abel were Adam's son, nor were they listed in any of the genealogies of Adam. Yet, Cain, for example, was said to be, in the Bible, of the wicked one, I John 3.12. The Bible even says that the third-born son of Eve, Seth, was the first child born of her who actually resembled Adam, somewhat, Genesis, 5-3. Why, could it be that the first two offspring of the Bible may have had the blood of someone else? Let's take a look at this verse, and Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and bare Cain. Genesis, 4-1, KJV, to many this is proof positive that Adam had sex with his wife, and was the father of Cain. An open and shut case, or is it? The word new, if we examine the original Hebrew, here, does have the meaning of to have sex with, which makes it easy to assume that they copulated. However, this word could also mean something totally different. The word new actually comes from two Hebrew words, yada and ev. The word yada not only means to have carnal sex with, but also to recognize, discern, or acknowledge. The word ev is untranslatable in English, but it generally relates to, a sign, a distinguishing mark, or an omen. From these other meanings, we can reconstruct the English translation of the verse, as it sets, into something such as the following, and Adam eventually acknowledged the distinguishing sign that had come upon Eve. Genesis. 4-1, in retranslation. Also, if we look at the Hebrew word for the translated word conceived, here, we see it could also mean to already be with child. Put them all together, and we gather a whole new possible meaning for this verse, and Adam eventually acknowledged the distinguishing sign that had come upon Eve, that she was with child, and realized she was about to give birth to Cain. Genesis. 4-1, in retranslation. Yes, studying the Hebrew, we see this verse could easily take on a whole new meaning. See how easily verses could be mistranslated when the people translating them might assume they should say something a certain way. Could it really mean that Adam understood what went happen to Eve, here, and that Cain was about to be born? The next part of the same verse gives even more creditability to our argument. Apparently, when Eve first saw her baby, Cain, she may have assumed she had gotten him from somewhere beyond this world. And, as the rest of the verse states, Eve exclaims, I have gotten a man from the Lord General 4 to 1 KJV. According to the New Jerusalem translation, however, the verse translates from the Hebrew just a little differently.